Hey guys, in this video we're going to teach you how to create shortcuts and we're also going to go through what is the use of a shortcut and what you can do with it exactly. So, first of all, let's start with the idea of what is a shortcut in essence. Well, a shortcut is a series of steps that you can program and what you can do with this series of program is that instead of going through all the individual apps, you can tap on that specific program once and it will carry out all the steps for you. Think of it like this. When you order a pizza, you usually call them and you tell them what type of pizza you want. And then uh, 20 minutes later, you're going to get the pizza on your doorfront, yes? Well, what actually happens is when you give that order, somebody has to buy the materials, somebody has to light up the oven, make the pizza, organize it, get all the material, put it in, in the oven, they have to look out for the time, and etc. So basically what you do is when you order a pizza by phone, you just take one step, whereas inside that one step, you have like 35 steps. And that is basically what a shortcut is. You create multiple steps, and then all you have to do is to tap on that once, and then all of those singular steps will be carried out, carried out for you. So this might sound a little bit complicated in, in, in theory, but I'm going to show you in practice and you're going to have a clear idea of what I mean. So how, first of, first things first, how do we create a shortcut? Well, you got to go inside the app shortcuts. You can browse them in your apps or you could search it up. So I'm going to search it up. As you know, search is you just drag down. You're using your finger, you just drag down and then we get this. We're going to look shortcut so this is the app shortcuts so as you can see there's already a bunch of stuff on my screen so well like what are they what, what, like what's it about right Let, let's see what's what let's break it down first of all you see in this section you see my shortcuts i'm just going to move my uh, assistive touch here you see So you see my shortcuts here. This is all your shortcuts. And as you can see, we have all shortcuts, share sheet, and you have Apple Watch. So some of these shortcuts also apply to Apple Watch, if assuming your Apple Watch is paired. Mine isn't. So, so this is the section where you can basically categorize your shortcuts. These are the folders that you can create for your shortcuts. First of all, let's see how we can make a new folder. You see this little icon right here, so you tap on that, and then you say new uh, shortcuts, and then you press add. And as you can see, now I have the new shortcut here as well. Now, how do I move one shortcut from one folder to another? So, as you can see, I have one folder here, and I have one folder here, and then the other folder is right beneath it. So, in order to grab a shortcut, all you got to do is to just move your finger over the sh shortcut, hold it, and then drag it. So let me show you very See, I can move my shortcut. As you can see, I can easily move my shortcuts. Now, so we know how to categorize shortcuts, but what do these shortcuts actually do? Let's find out in practice. How do you create a new shortcut? That's the question, right? So in order to make a shortcut, all you got to do is, and as you can see, like when, I, when you're done with the folder section, all you got to do is tap here, okay? So I tap here. And then we remove all those options for uh, folders and such. So how do you make a shortcut? Well, you see this little sign right here. You're going to tap on that. And then this is the board you have for creating a new shortcut. Now, what is it that we exactly make here? Well, we create a pattern or a number of steps that go after one another. And then what happens is after you execute them, after you execute your shortcut, those steps are going to be carried forward. It sounds a little bit difficult in your head, but I'm, I'm going to give you an example, then you'll find out. So let's say, let's say you want to open up a web page, 
And then at the same time, you want to listen to a podcast while you open that web page and also make a note. Just a rudimentary example. Uh, maybe it's, a, it's your break time, you need to make a note out of it, whatever it is, just have three steps in mind. Usually, in order to do these, you would have to go to each step. So you would have to, for example, open up Safari, and then you would have to go to iTunes and play the podcast, and then you would have to make a note. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pattern that is going to do that automatically whenever I just select and press on one shortcut. So let's see how that works. So first things first, I want to open a web page, right? So I'm going to go on web. Let's go on web. So what have I got here? Let, let's scroll down. As you can see, I've got open URL. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that. And as you can see, I get one command. And we have one little, there's like a space around it. We call these variables in shortcut. And those are basically, you can, you can change them to whatever way you want to. So I'm going to tap the URL and I'm going to go with, let's go with yahoo.com. Okay. I'm going to tap. So that's step one. So the moment, first step that we have is we're going to open up yahoo.com. And then I said, maybe I want to listen to uh, a podcast. So in order to do that, you go on media, okay? And then you want to go, you want to scroll down, so let's scroll. So scroll down, 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 until, you see I've got the option to play podcast here, so I'm going to tap on that. Now, see, again, I've got another variable here. Right? So I can pick the podcast now. What do I want? I want, let's go with Monday morning podcast as an example. Okay? So also keep in mind that you can add more to the website. So maybe you want two tabs open so you can add another extra. I'm going to go with uh, msn.com. So the moment where I run the shortcut, I'm going to get both of those URLs open. You're going to see uh, once we're done with this. And then now I said, I also, maybe I also want to make a note, right? So for the note, you want to go in the apps. Now let's go with to do. Okay. So I'm going to add a task to shopping, right? So that's my to do list. That's the Microsoft app for to do. So I'm going to add, let's say, uh, call John. Okay. So as you can see now, I have three main functions. And then now we're ready to create our shortcut. But we need to name the shortcut, right? So as you can see, this is where the name is. So we're going to tap on the name. We're going to make it, let's say, uh, morning routine. OK. Now. You may want to have it look different, so you can tap on the icon, you can change the color, maybe if you want a different glyph, you know, you've got all of these sorts of, uh, you've got symbols, you've got object, you can go through all of these if you want to. I'm going to go with, uh, I'll go with this one, for example. Right? So that's our, so our name of our shortcut will be morning routine with the little bicycle. If you want to add to home screen, you add to home screen, right? This is how it's going to be added. You're going to add it. You can also change the name. So like, let's just go with routine. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to show it in share sheets, you can toggle that or not. If you don't want to, you can also show it on Apple Watch. Up to you, really. I don't have an Apple Watch. Uh, imported here uh, to give all of the apps that are involved access so it does make sense and if you go to your home so you see you've got both right here right so you got 
you, what, basically what you can do is you can make two shortcuts with different looks using the same function. So we're going to run the routines. If we go to Microsoft to do, you will see that we've got daily for call job. So both three tasks are completed. This is how you create shortcuts, just as a simple experiment. Obviously, you have a lot to play with in terms of what you get and what you have. So I hope that this is going to be helpful in that regards. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please make sure to click thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out similar videos like this if you're interested, and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. I will see you later. Bye-bye.